Hello, I welcome you all today in the lecture series of Cognitive Ergonomic. Today's lecture is uh, lecture number 14 and as we learned in previous lecture about the human computer interaction, the interfaces, the principles, the design principles, Nielsen's principle of design and different type of design displays. The important and crucial element which we have to discuss today is the persona. The persona plays an important role uh, for the designers to understand the need of the user and uh, end user. So personas are the fictional ca uh, characters, fictional person that represents the user. Now users can be of different class, category, culture, gender, age and such understanding, such insight provides an insightful information to the designers to design a product as per the need. Graphical user interface as we were discussing earlier and also the graphic design which is an important element uh, towards uh, the um, human computer interaction, there the persona plays an important role. As we know that uh, persona, uh, persona is not um, uh, limited only to the industries, mechanical industry or the electrical industry, but it has extended towards the healthcare system, gaming, software, news and media and marketing. Different disciplines, different uh, platforms, different domains are building these persona characters so that they can understand their users very well and they can come up with an effective design so that the efficiency, performance, satisfaction can be enhanced and promoted. Persona not only representing uh, as I was telling you earlier the user but also it is representing, representing the end user, the end user, the user who is using the design, the user which is uh, using uh, and enjoying the benefits and applications of the design and also the end user need what that end user requires. Some of our end user based on the age group if we talk about elderly uh, end user will be having different needs compared to the adolescents and young adults or if we talk about the male and female uh, elderly people then their uh, needs will be slightly different. Persona also guide us uh, uh, the uh, mental model and what kind of mental model need to be shared between the designer and the user. Such uh, sharing of the mental model not only uh, provide an insight information about the design itself but also help us in understanding the cognition behind it. So what kind of uh, memory, what kind of attentional model, what kind of perceptual information, what kind uh, of mental model is required towards the design. Persona is so scattered uh, over the um, uh, um, different disciplines that it is very difficult for us to understand. There are many users who are uh, skillful and having uh, multiple abilities. As a result, their um, skills are scattered all over different disciplines. So they can fit in different different disciplines. Uh, for instance, uh, a sweeper not only can sweep uh, the floor but can also do uh, any other type of laborious tasks such as lifting a cement bag, such as uh, lifting a table, uh, rearrangement of the room, rearrangement of the, um, uh, in the um, construction material uh, uh, along with the uh, mopping the floor. So uh, the persona, such kind of personas are very much scattered. Also they are very difficult to understand what, uh, what kind of um, characteristic trait these uh, personas might be having. It. So under certain examples, under certain uh, situations, designers have faced uh, some challenges in order to classify their persona and also to uh, um, make them more and more specific in nature. As we also studied um, uh, in earlier um, lectures that uh, the absolute judgment by human beings is uh, not uh, possible, they are not, um, they, they, it cannot be so absolute in nature. Hence, um, in order to uh, match with the real world example, the personas um, sometimes have difficulty also to understand. Personas also had, uh, help us uh, to come up with a better user uh, experience and usability, the ability to use a product, the um, self, uh, the experience uh, from uh, using the product. Now, uh, last few lectures we were talking about the UI uh, user interaction, 
now it's time for us to step into the user experience so today's lecture will mostly be on the user uh, um, experience and what are the uh, usability and followed by the user experience Usa usability the characteristics of usability what are the important uh, characteristics um, um, present there uh, in usability uh, how one can be doing the testing as well uh, as we have been uh, we have been in the modern world digitization uh, world a lot of digitization, digitization has uh, happened and occurred after the pandemic. Everybody, um, uh, if you talk about the elderly or young adults or adolescents uh, or even the school children, everybody has become an online user. Uh, la, uh, um, the um, online usage has exponentially increased uh, in last several years. So when we see, um, uh, if you can see on your screen, there are four different users present uh, like uh, Annie, uh, Kathleen, David and Anthony. All these are four different types of users. All these users have uh, different, different skills and abilities. Some are very well uh, adapted to the online platform, some are not. Some are new to the ad, um, platform, some are from rural areas, some are from um, uh, young, uh, from modern city. So if you talk about uh, the, um, uh, if you take the, an example of Kathleen and uh, Anne, uh, then we will see uh, that uh, uh, Grace is, uh, she is living on her pension and um, uh, while uh, the uh, Kathleen is looking for a job, Kathleen, she is from a small city. Uh, while um, uh, Grace is living in a flat and these two different types of uh, individuals uh, um, are also from different age groups are both online users. Both of them uh, will be having different uh, needs. So, th the end user need are different in this case, the user need in this case uh, are different. They all, uh, the, the all, uh, all these four people are the end user and their end uh, user needs are very very much different. So if you see uh, the Anthony he is very much into the video games while David is uh, into more into the luxury cars and he is largely detached but he is uh, not uh, so detached he is in the middle age uh, uh, person so he is uh, trying to establish a relationship uh, while on one hand we what we can see David uh, is a, a detached person he did, doesn't have a um, a relationship and he doesn't he may not be believing in that um, relationship while also uh, David is having significant uh, savings while if you talk about the Anthony then his savings are little uh, limited and he is also working uh, on in the McDonald and KFC while the um, uh, uh, David has its own uh, need no, but all four uh, users uh, are the online users and their approach and their um, avoidance with the online uh, will be very very different and they will be having a distinct user pattern that uh, so these are the persona these are the fictional characters which a designer has uh, built in order to understand uh, their online interaction their online communication their uh, online um, collaboration with uh, with the people uh, on the online platform all these individuals will have uh, based on their online interaction, based on their online inter uh, communication, they will have different um, uh, behavioral pattern altogether and their end user need. Uh, Let us say if all four of them has to do an online shopping, that will be a very distinct and unique uh, behavioral pattern will be there for each individual. For instance, Anthony will be more interested into video games uh, during an online interaction. David might be very much interested into financial. Uh, um, biddings and um, investments while Kathleen uh, she is living from a small city so she may not be so much into the uh, financial investment but also just to, to do how to do the sh online shopping for a small um, uh, uh, clothings or any kind of beautification product while uh, uh, on the other hand Grace she is an elderly people she may also be having having an anx anxiety to use the online platform so uh, though she is living in a um, uh, um, retirement flat uh, in a big city but uh, still her usage with the online may be very much limited and she may uh, prefer to be uh, having a physical uh, bank system rather than an online banking system so all four of them can be uh, are uh, the online users but all of them may have different different characteristics and approach and uh, interaction with the online in this regard, Jacob Nielsen, when uh, last time we were discussing, uh, uh, we, we discussed about his uh, 10 um, uh, 
uh, design principles. Here, Jacob Nielsen had different uh, approach altogether, and he was trying to reflect upon the persona and the perspective on persona, how these different persona pers uh, personas are important uh, in the discipline of uh, design. Persona, uh, persona, aided designs are there, and user-centered design is there. So, user is nothing but just uh, our um, uh, customers. Who, who are there and designer has to ensure whatever design he or she is building, it should be user centric. But where, uh, if we have a persona, if we have the persona like I told you, David, Kathleen, Grace, uh, these kind of personas are there, then the designs uh, can be there to help these uh, different persona pe person. For instance, if uh, Grace is an elderly person, a elderly age person, she is uh, ha having difficulty and anxiety towards the online um, platform, then a design can uh, exclusively be designed for uh, Grace, which can be helpful for her to use an online platform. Uh, also, we have seen that um, uh, the business and the design groups also uses um, the persona to concept conceptualize it. There are different type of people uh, who uh, do the business uh, and their needs uh, and their user and needs are very, very different. So, uh, based on their business, based on their business inclination, there are different types of personalities are there. So, if we, if <coughs> a designer creates a persona related to the business, then that may be helpful for the designers to understand the need of the per, uh, um, of the person uh, related to that business. Uh, so, a businessman who is doing a business of the for, for the eggs, and the businessman who is doing a business for the um, uh, gas cylinder. These two businessmen uh, will have very distinct uh, personalities, and building a persona may uh, bring uh, more uh, insight uh, in relation to that. J Nelson also discussed about that persona creation is uh, mostly uh, inspired by the co-workers in the seminars, which means that how the co-workers are interacting with each other, how the uh, seminar is being held, how the interaction among the colleagues are happening. Once people understand that interaction, those interactive information, those communicative information can be used to create a persona. Then only we can uh, create such persona of uh, two different individual, two different class to understand that how the people, how people have an interaction, how people have a communication. Uh, for instance, physical uh, co-worker interaction and physical seminars are very different than online co-worker interaction and online seminars. Online seminars, we uh, do not pay a lot of attention. We do not pay a lot of attention towards the body language, emotion, uh, personal interaction. However, in the case of physical interaction, all these things matter. So, persona creation, uh, you know, can be inspired uh, by the work uh, phys uh, online or offline uh, based platforms as well. Uh, also, one has to understand that uh, community of practice when we are talking about uh, it has um, a major influence on the designing of the persona, which means that in which community um, these personas are existing. If we are talking about the high class society, middle class society, lower class society or upper middle class society, lower middle class of society within the middle class society, such uh, uh, communities division and how these communities are practicing and interacting and coordinating with each other that uh, actually reflects uh, on the designing of the per persona itself. So, um, uh, as uh, we discussed on several grounds about the context, social um, uh, interaction, that plays a major role in this regard. So, community of practice in, is an important part and uh, Nielsen also proposed that uh, there is a, a, a persona scenario method is there. Uh, context is being uh, playing a major role. So, persona plus X X can be another method that supports a persona towards a goal creation. Now, this kind of method uh, can vary from discipline to discipline, hence it is very much important for us to understand different um, um, disciplines altogether. And as I was telling you in the beginning itself that persona is not only limited to the or, uh, industrial setting, but persona can be translated and can be created based on different uh, sub-disciplines. As we can think about a persona who is a software developer, who is only de developing a software uh, design or a persona who is only 
testing the software design, what kind of skills abilities these uh, persona might be having it can provide an insight. A persona who is a primary caregiver, secondary caregiver or tertiary caregiver. A persona who is entirely into the healthcare discipline, a persona of a manager who is um, um, a medical representative and then he is representing the medical organization and um, the promoting of a specific medicine. Persona who is in the marketing discipline, what kind of uh, manager, CEO, supervisors we are looking after. Robotics, how a persona uh, is being uh, in the robotics such as uh, if uh, a soldier is there with the amputed limb and this soldier is being, um, you know, uh, being as, uh, provided an assistive uh, technology of robotics. Then that persona will be different how uh, um, this person is interacting within the persona of video gamers. Video gamers are there, what kind of personality these video gamers are having. Are they less communicative? Are they autistic in nature? Are they social in nature? Hypersocial, hyposocial, what kind of interaction is there? And then the persona in the higher education, such as the teachers or professors or uh, students, PhD scholars, master's scholars, how these different personas are present there in the higher education system. Uh, and many more such examples are there in the personas. We have to understand that different types of personalities are uh, providing an in-depth understanding to the user how a product or a design can be used by the uh, by these um, uh, end users and what are their end user needs. So end user need in order to understand the end user need. Um, we have to understand the usability and as you can uh, see this, the, if the system is being accepted by the user, then there can be two uh, um, uh, ways he can accept it, socially acceptable, uh, acceptable, acceptability will be there and practical acceptability will be there. Now, uh, in recent years, uh, what we have seen that people have started talking about a design uh, which is more uh, not only uh, physical acceptability should be there, but social acceptability seems to be playing a major role. Though uh, in this lecture we may not be talking specifically about the social acceptability, we will be moving ahead with the practical acceptability and discussing about it in detail. So what, we, what do we see in the practical acceptability of a design, how to use it? First thing is the cost effectiveness, the, uh, how economical the cost is there. Uh, if it is not uh, so economical in nature, then maybe the design, the usage uh, may be uh, have uh, maybe compromised because the, uh, nobody wants to use an expensive de expensive device. Uh, we all know that, and also um, uh, the the not only the, its usage uh, has to be simpler in nature, but everybody wants to have, and that is why if we talk about the cost uh, in this regard, a common example can be seen as an Android phone versus uh, um, a Mac uh, or any other expensive mobile phone. Uh, an Android phone, uh, the cheap uh, Android phone can uh, you can uh, buy it from the market with five thousand uh, international. Rupee. Uh, the same uh, time you can also buy the high end uh, user um, uh, design uh, model such as Macintosh Apple iPhone 15. Compatibility, is it compatible with uh, all, uh, um, with the, uh, how many platforms so such as you know compatibility if it is compatible with other platforms uh, with respect to softwares if you talk about then uh, it is uh, economical in nature and its practical acceptability will be high, very high such as if you talk about the compatibility of the uh, Microsoft Office uh, people are very much compatible uh, uh, with its usage and it is not um, uh, sophisticated uh, software people can easily see how uh, these different uh, Microsoft uh, component uh, are there like PowerPoint, Word, uh, Excel, how it is being used easily. Uh, some of these um, uh, tools are also having um, an statistical tool and platform which gives them uh, an ability to do the um, uh, high math arithmetical problem with easiness uh, and they don't need any additional uh, software for that. So compatibility is very easy and usage one uh, platform solution is already there. So it makes it more and more reliable in nature and uh, etc and etc. It's usefulness however, uh, how useful that product is for if for instance if we talk about the uh, Windows uh, 98. Uh, it seems to be more useful than Windows 11 uh, uh, and also uh, similarly Windows uh, 98 is uh, extensively being used uh, related to the other uh, platforms. We have also seen that usefulness can be seen as utility and usability. Usefulness when we talk about its utility and we talk about the usability, here we have to pay more attention towards the usability and when we talk about the usability then easy to learn, efficient to use, easy to remember, 
few er errors and subjectively pleasing. Now, uh, 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 a design which is very easy to learn, a design which does not uh, involve complexity uh, makes the product more and more usable in nature, makes it more and more efficient to use and uh, when such features are very easy then it is easy to remember. This uh, a common example can be WhatsApp where not a lot of features are there, it is very easy to make a video call, it is very easy to make an audio call, it is very easy to post. Uh, um, uh, and share images, um, uh, then the Facebook uh, application where a uh, lot more features are there, um, some uh, sort of complexity may be there and it is difficult also um, uh, with the, um, to remember. Now, uh, easy to remember, easy to learn, uh, efficient uh, to use. Um, uh, um, depends also on the frequency, more and more frequently you use a system, more and more uh, system become easy for uh, one to use. Now, uh, talking about the usability itself, uh, moving forward we have to understand uh, what does uh, usability mean, for, uh, mean to us. So, according to the Indian standard uh, organization, um, uh, sorry international standard organization 9241. Um, the, the usability is defined as the effectiveness, efficiency and satisfaction with which a specified user achieve a specified goal in particular environment. Now, why do, why are we calling it a, a specified user and a specified goal? For instance, an specified user if it is a uh, pilot, then his specific goal is to fly a plane. Uh, a pilot cannot um, uh, uh, drive a uh, metro station or uh, uh, can run a train on the railway track. Of course, they may have an ability to drive it, but their goals may be different. Uh, so, the specific users uh, have a specific goal. So, a train driver can drive a train uh, instead of flying an aeroplane, um, a, ca a naval captain can uh, sail a ship uh, and uh, with uh, under his, uh, you know, uh, this naval captain uh, can uh, or a controller, a uh, nuclear power plant uh, controller has a, a specific goal to uh, control the nuclear power plant uh, to produce more energy or to decrease more energy. When we are talking about these specific goal in particular environment, the uh, these three components effectiveness, efficiency and uh, user satisfaction uh, plays an important role. So, the definition of usability itself include these three uh, components, these three characteristics and to be in detail what do we mean with effectiveness, the accuracy and completeness uh, with which a specific user can achieve a specified goal. The accuracy importance uh, more and completeness which means that when a task has been uh, started up, uh, it should uh, reach to its um, end and um, the sooner uh, the, the, um, the um, more the accuracy is higher the accuracy is, higher the effectiveness is there. When higher the effectiveness is there, then higher the uh, usability will be there uh, directly. So, usability is directly proportional to effectiveness or you can say the accuracy and completeness. Higher the accuracy will be, um, uh, higher will be the usability will be. Efficiency, how resource uh, resources um, you know uh, being uh, uh, used effectively because there are a lot of uh, resources available uh, to the user to uh, reach to the goal. But uh, what is uh, more important here how efficiently, how uh, the best fit or how optimally the user is uh, using these resources efficiently to meet the accuracy and completeness task. Satisfaction. Satisfaction uh, is talking about the comfort and acceptability. So, how uh, you know um, uh, how much comfort and um, uh, the person is having, uh, user is having uh, towards the work system. If the user is more comfortable with the work system, the performance, uh, effectiveness, efficiency will be increased and the safety will also be enhanced um, uh, directly. Uh, more uh, acceptance is there by the user towards the work system. Uh, it makes the efficiency and performance better and better. Now, we have seen that uh, so the, uh, the effectiveness, efficiency, satisfaction is directly proportional to usability. Higher uh, the efficiency, higher the effectiveness, higher the satisfaction is, higher will be the usability. People will be using more and more system. Now, here uh, we have to understand that when we are talking about these things, there are five um, uh, characteristics which are important in usability. One is learnability, efficiency, memorability, errors and satisfaction. Let us understand it in detail, but before that let me uh, take you here, uh, share you uh, with an example. What do uh, we have here? The, the plug pin uh, from the um, uh, Apple um, power adapter is there, but the Apple power adapter 
structure if you see uh, see here it is uh, having three pins in it and these three pins are actually uh, pointed rather than circular in nature if you th think about these apple pins in india then they are circular in nature and uh, and these uh, pins are only two in nature because by default there is a neutral uh, circuit is already there but these uh, these different types of sockets if you see here uh, will it be used here in india then the failure will be there the error will be there the effectiveness efficiency satisfaction will not be there the user will face lot and lot of challenges because such kind of sockets you can only find it in us uh, soil rather than in indian uh, scenario in indian scenario the power plugs are uh, different uh, also, one should uh, it is noteworthy here that these power adapters are also working with 50 hertz and 60 hertz. So, based on the country, based on the uh, zone, these uh, power adapters are also being designed. So, some uh, power adapters sometimes a user face a lot of challenges when the uh, US users are traveling to India, and many a time Indian users face a lot of challenges when they travel to US soil uh, because of this power adapter. Another uh, example can be seen on your uh, right hand screen is the uh, lift buttons. These lift buttons if you can see these are color coded buttons. These color codings may be important for the elderly. However, uh, what you see that the creepism is there. Why it is creepy in nature? Because you can see that there are two color, uh, two buttons are there um, uh, representing 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. But all these uh, different uh, uh, buttons which are uh, duplicated in nature, they are also having different color codings. Now, these color codings may involve ambiguity. As a result, the efficiency of this control panel may fail. Some may say that the efficiency will be better because uh, if you talk about the elderly uh, or uh, the young kids, um, uh, it may be helpful for them to uh, uh, at the time of rescue or at the time of uh, getting lost in the uh, in their own building. So, these color codings can be uh, can provide some assistance to them. So, when we are talking about the characteristics, let me start uh, with the first characteristics learnability. When we are talking about the expert user and when we are uh, comparing it with the novice user, what we find is that the novice user seems uh, and this is the uh, on your uh, y axis you see the usage proficiency and efficiency, how much uh, usage a uh, person is uh, using it higher you go uh, on the top it increases uh, and uh, uh, um, it increases from uh, the scale if it is from 0. So, you 0 to uh, uh, there is always an increase in the scale. So, what we see here is that the novice user the proficiency and efficiency is increasing over period of time, but as uh, the feature is increasing it reaches an optimal point after that it becomes stagnant there is no further growth there is no further learning is happening in the novice user. However, when the expert user is there, slowly they are understanding a system, but once this is understand a system, they get accustomed to, they add more and more uh, skill uh, towards the system, they learn more and better and exponentially they increase. So, you can see that they are always higher compared to the novice users over a period of time. When the novice users are not putting an effort, expert users are putting some an effort. Now, um, uh, such uh, some complex designs if I tell you where the learning uh, curve um, uh, is playing an important role. Here you can see with the TV remote control system, uh, all of you must be having a Tata Sky uh, TV remote. Um, uh, some of these uh, remote controls are exa uh, exactly the same. Uh, same replica of the Tata Sky remote control. What you see here in all those uh, all these features, one feature is there creepism means more and more creepy they look uh, they appear and they look like lot of features are there. Now, imagine our elderly who is suffering from dementia for that individual it will be very difficult for uh, to operate a television or if we talk about a young adult who is in uh, who is 5 or 6 years old and would like to uh, turn on the TV and put his own channel kids safe channel then it might be very difficult for uh, to operate such a remote control system M many occasion and such uh, such complex designs have been a very complicated one here also on your right hand screen if you can see there are two uh, keypads are there on one side you can see that the uh, folder along with uh, the delete button editing button and uh, uploading folder 
uh, forward backward pause system all are uh, presented in one uh, strip. However, on the other hand on, um, there, there are only two features are present there uploading and deleting features and if you press the press uh, plus button here then uh, there are many more features embedded. So, all these features if you see on your uh, screen these features including the editing part might be uh, um, uh, can be presented here in the plus sign as per the need of the user you can uh, scroll up and then all these features you can have a number of features here which can you can operate and this makes the design more simpler and as we uh, studied in previous uh, lecture about a kiss method keep it supremely simple keep it supremely simple this is a simpler design this is a more simpler design which people can remember better than this complex design so uh, learning such system uh, um, if a complex design is there efficiency definitely you know uh, can uh, get affected so uh, efficiency refers to expert user and steady state level of the performance so how steadily he can uh, perform uh, measuring this efficiency of the uh, use uh, of the experienced user how efficiently they are using the system you know experienced users so this uh, reflect upon the uh, usability and also uh, not only that but also um, suggest us uh, with uh, easiness the, the level of easiness with which the user can use it. The, uh, if the design is easy if the uh, design is easy then the end user uh, uh, will be happy end user will be more satisfied end user need will be uh, satisfied as well. Users are considered experienced if the user uh, say so users generally say that I am experienced one I can do it but depends how can we measure this it depends how uh, what amount of time the user is taking uh, to interact with the system and how if a user is taking more time to interact with the system to meet the desired end then uh, definitely it means that the user is not the experienced one but he may be a novice one but if the experienced user is there then he may interact with the system uh, um, less and uh, can uh, meet the uh, user end uh, quickly. So, experience can be defined in terms of number of hours spent using the system. Now, uh, one should not uh, be getting confused here. Some uh, sometime the user would like to spend more time with the design system uh, though the design system is easy. But uh, this is very subjective in nature and uh, if the user uh, feel happy about inter interacting with the system uh, like a writer wants to spend more and more time to think and write then uh, the, the number of hours he spent in writing one document versus a person who is just writing um, the, uh, an essay for the assignment for the grades it, it can be very very much different. Okay, uh, so user performance is continuously measured, uh, measure the time and it takes uh, these users to perform some typical test task. Now, um, <coughs> before we move further, <coughs> let me conclude here uh, what we learned here so far uh, is the persona. Uh, why persona is important, uh, different personalities, different age group, different uh, gender, different society is there. So, persona can help us in understanding and have deeper insight about the uh, personality uh, or the user need and uh, meeting the user uh, end. Uh, secondly, uh, Nielsen also proposed that uh, persona not only is limited to the industrial, but it is also limited, limit, uh, extended to uh, many other disciplines like healthcare, uh, uh, gaming. Uh, um, um, and many uh, um, education, higher education and many more uh, disciplines etc. So, uh, Nielsen proposed that the uh, application of user can be very much beneficial and then um, uh, what we uh, further studied is the usability. Uh, the uh, usability talks about the efficiency, effectiveness and satisfaction and in this regard we were talking about the characteristics of uh, uh, usability. We have discussed these two characteristics in the next lecture we are going to extend this um, uh, topic further and we learn about the user experience uh, along with it. Thank you.